Well, tomorrow is the federal holiday. A lot of events have been going on to honor our heroes in advance of Veterans Day. CBS 2's Tony Aiello stopped by two of them in the northern suburbs. Some served in the middle of the last century. The end of World War II. Others at the beginning of this one. I did one tour in Afghanistan in 2002 and another tour in Iraq in 2003. The annual Veterans Day ceremony at the Westchester County Vets Museum, a show of gratitude for all those who answered the call to serve our nation. God bless you men, women. Thank you for what you've done. We will never forget you. We'll never forget to honor you. The ceremony deeply appreciated, especially by Combat Infantry Badge recipient Pat Selleck, whose service in Vietnam did not lead to a warm welcome home. We were called baby killers and stuff like that. Every, today, you walk down the street with your combat hat on, people jump over and say thank you for your service and recognize you. In Rockland County, a ceremony at Spring Valley High School honored Purple Heart recipients. I'm one of the lucky ones that came back, you know, like I said, war is hell. <laughs> 1940 graduate Stanley Borman did not survive World War II. His Purple Heart recently found in a thrift shop, now part of a plaque that will hang in the school lobby. Every day when they come in, they're going to see that Purple Heart and understand that there was a price with it. Advocates say there are many ways to show appreciation for those who serve. By hiring a veteran, visiting a VA hospital, or donating to a veterans program. A good start is sharing five simple words. Thank you for your service. In Katona, Westchester County, Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.